Have you ever updated your phone's software and thought, okay, it looks the same? What really changed? Well, Samsung just gave us one of those updates, and at first glance, it might not seem huge. But when you look closer, One UI 8.5 actually brings a bunch of changes compared to One UI 8.0, and some of them will make your daily phone use a lot smoother. Let's break it down. So here's the backstory. Samsung only recently rolled out One UI 8.0, which itself was a big deal because it's built on Android 16 and comes with years of promised updates. People were just settling into that when suddenly, a leaked build of One UI 8.5 popped up. That got everyone curious what could Samsung possibly change so soon. And as it turns out, the answer is quite a lot. Let's start with the first thing you'll notice, the quick panel. That's the screen you pull down from the top to get your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, and all those quick settings. In One UI 8.0, it was fine, but in 8.5, it's much more customizable. You can resize toggles, rearrange them more freely, and even adjust the brightness and volume sliders exactly how you want. It's a small tweak, but for people who constantly use those settings, it's a game changer. Then there are the visuals. Samsung has polished things up across the board. The layouts are cleaner, gradients look better, and contrasts are sharper. Icons now have this lifted style that makes the whole interface look fresher and more modern. You might not notice it right away, but once you go back to an older version, you'll see how flat it looks compared to 8.5. Of course, no Samsung update these days is complete without something for Galaxy AI. This time, the editing tools get smarter. The generative edit feature now has an edit history, so you can keep track of changes and roll things back if you need to. The editing flow itself feels smoother, so you don't get stuck switching between menus. It's one of those updates that you only realize you needed once you start using it. Now, for the camera lovers, this is where things get really interesting. One UI 8.5 adds the ability to shoot 8K video at 25 frames per second in pro video mode. That means your footage won't just look ultra sharp, but it'll also feel smoother and more natural. And then there's clean preview mode, which basically strips away all the distractions on screen while you're shooting. If you've ever tried to frame the perfect shot but found the UI clutter annoying, this will feel like a breath of fresh air. What I like about this update is that it's not just cosmetic. Yes, the new gradients and lifted icons look nice, but Samsung also focused on features that matter in everyday use. Whether it's rearranging your quick panel, editing photos more easily, or capturing better video, these are changes that actually affect how you use your phone and this is just the beginning. Since this build leaked so quickly after the stable one UI 8.0 release, it's likely Samsung is still testing and polishing even more features before the full rollout. That means by the time one UI 8.5 officially lands on your Galaxy phone, it could bring even more improvements than what we've already seen. So here's the real question. Are these changes enough to make you excited about updating again so soon?